This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Triggers A psychopathic personality disorder is associated with several triggers found within an environment. Triggers include a hostile environment when growing up, which makes potential psychopaths develop unhealthy coping habits early in life, which inform their adult behaviors. Emotional neglect also triggers psychopathic tendencies by making the individual compensate for the lack of emotional warmth in unhealthy ways. Substance abuse by parents also contributes to neglect, which promotes psychopathic conduct in an individual. Triggers in Ted's Background Ted Bundy experienced catastrophic triggers early in life, which led to the development of psychopathic personality disorder, including emotional abuse and domestic violence. Bundy's parentage was controversial while growing up due to cultural constraints. His mother could not claim him as her son due to her unmarried nature, and the lack of a sense of belonging was damaging. Additionally, Bundy witnessed his grandfather abuse his grandmother physically, besides assaulting the animals. The home was devoid of emotional warmth crucial for properly raising children, and Bundy was, therefore, accustomed to violence. How Triggers Differ Between Psychopaths and Sociopaths The triggers within a background leading to the development of a psychopathic personality disorder and those for a sociopath are essentially similar. They both encompass a home devoid of love, characterized by negligence and violence. Psychopaths are forced to respond to the toxic environment they grow within by displaying trickery. They master the ability to forge connections with other people by developing charm and incredible personalities. This development evolves from the coercion by their environment to seek validation from their parents and other relatives or guardians. Sociopaths, on the other hand, are forced to respond to their triggers through aggressive tendencies, sometimes escalating to violence. Risk Factors Familial factors are a crucial aspect of psychopathic disorders, with some of the traits displayed by family members being eventually inherited by a potential psychopath. Traits likely to contribute to the familial development of psychopathic disorders in children are sometimes influenced by genetics. Genes associated with psychopathic tendencies include ANKK1, DRD2, DRD4, and MAOA. The genes affect traits such as violence and lack of remorse within family members, traits likely to become displayed in their children. Relation of Risk Factors to Bundy's Psychopathy Bundy's psychopathy was influenced by his upbringing, where his senior's lack of healthy character was inherited by Ted. Ted's grandfather, who was also considered his father by some accounts, was a vile man who dwelt in violence. He beat up his wife and animals, displaying an absence of empathy for those close to him and his things. When Ted later became a serial killer, he murdered his victims in cold blood without regard for their welfare, a trait inherited from home. Bundy's mother also denied him a chance to belong by terming him her brother. The lack of identity and dissociation inherited by Bundy became a feature of his serial killer tendencies as he did not care about his victims' families. Appropriate Communication Skills When communicating with Bundy, who has a psychopathic disorder, it would be crucial to maintain control over one's emotions. Psychopaths understand people at a great depth and can easily evoke emotion, blinding judgment and limiting objectivity. This is likely to limit the information extracted from them, given their control. Confidence is a crucial part of communicating with a psychopath, and when extracting information from them, one must not look intimidated. When intimidated, Bundy would sense this and use it to his advantage and the peril of the investigation. When communicating with Bundy, it would be crucial to ensure the conversation remains centered on him despite his intention to spin the arguments. This requires one to remain focused on the content of the investigation and adequate planning to achieve the set targets. Ineffective Communication Skills Communication with a psychopath can fail if an investigator allows themselves to be sucked into the games played by the psychopath. 
Falling into this trap entails allowing Bundy to take control of the questioning sequence. Allowing Ted to ask questions during the conversation, for instance, turns the point of focus and thereafter bears catastrophic fruits for the investigator. Revealing personal details is also detrimental to the investigation and can be castigated by Bundy through his cunning methods. Remaining astute and committed to the intended line of questioning is the surest way of avoiding such meager tricks. This essay on triggers and communication with Ted Bundy, a psychopath, was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.